हेलो फ्रेंड्स 540 डेज ऑफ वॉर आर्मी 2023 आईएमटीएफ इन अलाबीनो ट्रेनिंग ग्राउंड दैट इज आर्मी इंटरनेशनल मिलिट्री टेक्निकल फोरम डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटेड फायरिंग कैपेबिलिटीज ऑफ मिलिट्री हार्डवेयर्स ऑफ लैंड फोर्सेस एयरबोर्न ट्रूप्स एज वेल एज इंडस्ट्रियल एंटरप्राइजेस अ टोटल ऑफ 17 वेपन सिस्टम्स वेर एग्जिबिटेड and it was quite a success as moscow would be pleased to have a deal of a rather contract of 400 billion rubles which is more than 4 billion us dollar and that is in the thick of war which is more than one and a half years old and likely to continue another 6 months unless something drastically happens from the war zone in south on orikhiv front towards rabatino a fierce battle is continuing as per isw the ukrainians gained tactically impressive territory in northeast of this village and fight is now inside the center of the village towards remifka salient ukraine has overrun or rather entered the gray zone and taken over both staromyorsk and eurozen and now moving further south of it and attacking towards zavitne bazania towards kherson front after the ukrainians were eliminated from kazachi lahery or towards kozak camps they are still trying to find the breakthrough inside the russian defense line and have their reconnaissance group on the left bank of neva river and continue building their bridge heads especially towards antonovsky bridge has ukraine started so called third phase of counter offensive the importance of kherson and zaporizhia front can't be overlooked break of russian defense line which is 2 to 3 layers and the ukrainians have just breached the first layer which is starting from orikhov front to remifka and further eastward would mean opening up a huge strategic reasons this would or could be from melitopol to sevastov front towards crimea and even towards azov sea to black sea and up to mariupol but this is a far reach dream and this would also cause if at all it happens there would be existential threat to russian federation and then what happens we all know it nonetheless this is the long dream of american empire and which does not want to lose this opportunities which it had after the break of ussr in 1991 but three decades after that the russian military power has risen enough to challenge the american empire and which is not accepted by the latter coming to eastern war theater the ukrainians counter offensive is continuing towards serebryansky forestry though no gains have been reported as far as soledar direction is concerned situation is bit calmer compared to earlier on bakhmut front northern flank nothing special to report however towards southern side on klishivka outskirts heavy clashes are on as russian army has managed some gains as per isw on marinka front heavy battle has erupted after ukrainian reconnaissance groups have been reported and both sides are shelling heavily each other in north isw reports that on kupian swatov line russians have made gains towards sinkivka it further says that russian army repulsed many ukrainian attacks like on vilshana sinkivka Yuzi forest mankhivka stelmekhivka 
Novoselivsky and Kuzmin direction. Difficult names. Yes, Russian army is attacking towards Borovaya to expand bridgeheads on Zerebets river. Towards the west of Swatovo front, the Russians have made some impressive gains towards Sergivka. They also made gains on Kovlova Karmazinovka line. To summarize what happened in north, the Russians have made some gains and impressive ones on many fronts from Kupian Swatovo to Krimina line. Interdiction missions continuing. The Ukrainian shelled Bryansk, Belgorod, Crimea with UAVs and other means and also on the Donetsk side. Russians launched UAVs and missiles towards port infrastructure in Reni, Odisha, Oblast and many other targets. To sum up my talk today, I will tell you what Medvedev said. He said Ukraine has three options. First, to accept military neutrality and accept the lost territory. Second, fight till end and lose even Kiev and join NATO. And finally, Poland take the western part of Ukraine and Ukraine ceases to exist as a state. Is he luring Poland and trying to break the NATO unity? African Union has said no to military intervention in Niger.